Dear Journal, once again I hit a batch of DNFs and temporarily strayed from the spirit of the game and was just blindly following cash location to cash location, ignoring the landscape and ignoring opportunities to learn a little something along the way. Therefore, this entry shall be devoted to the introduction of the Knowledge Blast, which I hope to have sprinkled throughout the entries in the future. A concentrated gooey lump of unverified, skim-through-Google information injected into your brain via a fill-shaped words needle, all courtesy of our favorite user driven game, geocaching. Now, I feel like I shouldn't have to say that, but maybe you clicked on this video by accident. Our first knowledge blast is at Font Hill Castle. I enjoy it for this lovely summoning pond, but it's renowned for its interior, which costs $10 to get into, so I'm just going to do the virtual located outside of the spring house. To earth from sea, clouds carry me. To sea from earth, I turn. At birth. I was meant to look up what's the, what's the whole V as you thing. Hmm? I feel like I, I knew that at some point, possibly from geocaching. Turns out these structures were built emulating certain Roman-style architecture, which includes the fact that they had not at the time, 1400s or so it appears, invented a character for the U sound. Or the V, one or the other. They just didn't have one of them yet. It's very fascinating. When I was younger, I just assumed someone invented the alphabet all at once. I don't know, they presented a scroll to a king. I'll, uh, hey, I got your uh, consonants. I threw in some vowels for you since you know my brother's sister. Hey, apparently it didn't go down that way. Also, when I said when I was younger, I meant 23. While on vacation at Universal Orlando, I diverted my family from all the Hollywood pizzazz and high-octane themed thrill rides to go down an unlabeled alley near the dumpsters and employee parking because of my love of geocaching. Yes, there was a virtual here. Why? Because located here is a friggin' piece of the Berlin Wall. No, son, not every monument's about 9-11. <laughs> kids today. I don't know why you'd put this particular piece here in the middle of your amusement park setup, and, you know, I'm not mocking anyone who lost their life. I'm just saying it's a really weird setting to suddenly explain to my son a tale of war, communism, and redemption while he's sucking down a $9 drink in the park dedicated in practice and in theme to escapism. It's weird. It's weird to have it here, but I'll take the fine. Knowledge Blast! Roller coasters were popularized in the USA to try and escape the tools of Satan. In 1884, the Marcus Adna Thompson invented the Switchback Gravity Railway, a patented coaster that visitors to Brooklyn's Coney Island could ride for just five cents. I didn't see any cold hard facts about this next bit, but apparently Mr. Thompson wanted to offer some alternatives to the vices of man. And you know what, I checked the prices. A prostitute in the 1800s cost anywhere from 50 cents to $10. So a nickel for some whiplash seems like quite the bargain. I, I wouldn't pay $10 for a prostitute in 2022, let alone the 1800s. I mean, $10? That's a trip inside Fawn Hill Castle. I mean, come on. Yeah, for many people, geocaching is synonymous with nature, and with the amount of preserves and sanctuaries around the way, it's almost impossible to not learn anything about the local flora and fauna, because, well, because multis and mystery caches are always making me look at signs and information pavilions. I'm sorry, I'll have to get a better picture of that, but look at the little otter there. What a humorous face it's making. All right, good to know. I didn't know this. Water snakes are not water moccasins. Poisonous water moccasins do not live in New Jersey. I don't blame them! Oh, he's got one for you, New Jersey. Oh, he's got one for you. Otters have the second thickest fur of all animals, up to a million hairs per square inch. A million hairs per square inch. The first being my Uncle Angelo. Hey, I'm trying to make an alphabet here and you're busting my chops about the density of hair follicles in comparison to a semi-aquatic carnivorous mammal. I'm sure you're all thinking that these knowledge blasts are going to be from virtuals. Well, you're wrong, 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 wrong. We end on an earth cache, and we all know earth caches totally are not virtuals in different clothes. That's a lot of questions. Four stages. Ah, gonna pass. Gonna pass for today. I'm sure I'll be back this way. One thing about earth caches is that it's rare that they go missing. Earth caches rarely go missing. 